Hey everyone, Eddie Gray here with thepipenook.com coming to you from the West Parlor here at Gray Manor. Today I am smoking this beautiful Nearup pipe. This has become one of my old standbys. Really like this pipe. And in it, smoking some Savinelli Giobilio Dioro which I'll probably always massacre how you say the Savinelli blends. <laughs> but I think it means Golden Jubilee. And it's, a, it's a lot of key of flake. Let's see. I can show you. It's a lot of key of uh, Virginia flake. Comes down comes in these kind of half half size uh, flakes um, kind of reminiscent of uh, McBaron which if I recall I do believe McBaron makes all of these blends yeah I'm pretty sure they do uh, all the Savinelli blends except for the uh, 140th anniversary which is made by Cornell and Deal uh, being a small batch as it is. And of course, uh, that kind of explains why uh, the 140th comes in a, a tin like this, the American style tin. And, uh, you know, these others come in the more European style tins. So, I wanted to talk just a little bit about um, something that I think I'm going to write a blog on today. Uh, so if y'all are signed up to my newsletter, you may get a blog about this um, if I have the time. But uh, first, let me say this is Giobilio de Oro. Um, really smooth blend um, I'm not a I'm not a huge lot of Kia fan so if it's a lot of Kia bomb I you know pretty much stay away from it these days um, maybe nightcap being an a, a exception to that if you can call that a lot of Kia bomb I really don't but it's enough a lot of Kia for me um, but this stuff is just really smooth and creamy The Vir Virginias um, get to play their own part. It's not a one-sided song, you know what I mean? But I wanted to talk to a little bit about um, the pipe nook and where the pipe nook came from. I don't think I've ever really addressed this and um, addressed my stance on brick-and-mortar stores uh, versus buying online. I am at the end of my pipe, but I'll press on. So, uh, last year, last February, I started the pipe nook. And uh, so far, I don't have any intentions on creating a brick and mortar store. Um, in, my, in my hometown, uh, I live in Pensacola, Pensacola, Florida. Um, you know, we used to have three or four, uh, stores that carried pipes. Um, we had, uh, Cordova Cigars, we had the Pipe Rack downtown, um, we had the Tenderbox in the mall. And, you know, some drug stores carried pipes, you know, the Dr. Graybos and Corn Cobs and things like that. Um, and just through the years those all disappeared. Um, one by one, they closed down or they became more cigar centric. Um, and the last, the last holdout in my town was the tender box. And it was kind of broken into thirds. It was probably a third 
um, cigars. Actually, it was probably more half cigars was their business. And then 25% was pipes and pipe tobacco. And then the other 25% was just, you know, novelty stuff, gifts. They had started carrying wine and that kind of stuff. So, um, but then they shut down in 2015. I believe it was December 2015. And uh, I decided that, you know, for me, I would have to buy everything online if I was going to continue smoking pipes, which I was. Um, and I got to thinking about that. I'm like, you know, Pensacola, uh, it's not a, a big city by any means, but it's a nice sized town. Um, I think great, the greater Pensacola area, I think is about 300,000, 350,000 people. Um, and then there are places really close by like Milton and Cantonment and Pace, um, that are considered their own cities, their, their, their own municipalities, um, that are smaller than Pensacola, but, you know, you could probably tack on, you know, within the what I would consider the greater Pensacola area, we're probably looking at 500,000 people. And in that entire area, uh, there are no stores anymore that carry pipes or pipe tobacco. Um, I think Walgreens has their own brand of pipe to get tobacco that comes in tins like this, but they're kind of taller um, and skinnier. Um, but there's no place around that there's a specialty shop for pipes. There's no brick and mortar for pipes and tobaccos. And I thought, you know, if Pensacola, this greater area of Pensacola, can't maintain even just one pipe-centric shop, um, you know, th there must be a bunch of smaller towns, our size or smaller, that also don't have any pipe shops available. And those people have to buy online. If you live in those types of communities where there is no brick and mortar, you have to buy online. Um, and so I thought, well, maybe online purchasing is kind of a necessary evil. I know it was for me at that point. Barring taking trips, you know, traveling, which I don't do much of. Um, I would have to buy online. Now when I travel, I do my best to uh, support the brick and mortar stores that I come across. I try to seek them out and I try to make a purchase whether I need anything or not. Um, so, and I would, I would advise that you do the same. Sorry about that everyone, my uh, phone filled up. So filming stopped. But uh, what I was saying about the brick and mortars is if you have a brick and mortar in your area, by all means, unless unless they're just absolutely gouging you or don't provide good customer service, um, you know, by all means, try to support your local brick and mortars. I mean, there's so few of them left anymore. The Pipe Nook was never intended to compete with brick and mortar stores. Um, I'm not even really necessarily trying to compete with the big box online stores. Um, the point of the Pipe Nook, uh, my vision of it was to uh, create a virtual brick and mortar um, that people in my situation, in, in their hometowns, they don't have a pipe shop to go to, um, or at least not a good one. Um, but in my case, I just don't have one. But I think there are enough people out there in communities that, you know, pipe smoking has become such a niche market that a lot of us in smaller to mid-sized towns have to use the internet to get um, their pipes and supplies. And that's where the pipe nook comes in. I wanted it to be a website that had kind of a, a brick and mortar feel to it. Um, a little homespun type feel. I mean, I, it doesn't look like a MySpace page, I hope. <laughs> I hope you guys don't think that. It doesn't look like, you know, GeoCities or anything like that. Um, but it's also not 
um, a super fancy, frilly, um, you know, type shopping experience like the big guys. I'm not really trying for that. And certainly I'm not trying for their um, inventory, the, just the massive size of their inventory. I've spoke on this before, but, you know, I want to have everything on my site be a personal recommendation for me in that, um, you know, I carry Savinelli's, I carry Mr. Brog's, I carry Stanwell's and Big Ben's and, you know, Chris Morgan's and Missouri Meerschaum's, Nearup Pipes, Rossi's. They're all pipes that I personally smoke. Um, same thing with the tobaccos that I'm choosing, and I'm being very, very careful about what I choose. Um, so, you know, that's why I started with Dunhill and Peterson and McBaron and Savinelli. Um, they're, they're tobaccos that I smoke and enjoy. So, that's kind of where the pipe note came about, and um, I kind of just wanted to, to give you that, I guess, other side of the story. I don't think I've ever clearly spoken to that point that I'm not out to um, take business away from brick and mortar stores. Um, that's not the point of this site at all. Um, so just wanted to let you guys know uh, my thoughts on that, my thoughts on local brick and mortars and, and other online shops. Um, there are some other online shops that, that I have uh, respect for, including the big box guys, uh, what I call the big box guys. They carry everything under the sun. Um, you know, I do have uh, I have a lot of respect for what they've done, um, but at the same time, when you get that big, you really are competing against uh, the brick and mortar stores, and that's not something that I ever have any aspirations of. So, um, and in the future, I'm not against opening uh, a local shop. But there's got to be more of a, a resurgence for a town my size to be able to uh, keep the lights on, you know, pay the rent. So, uh, just wanted to touch on that stuff. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Glad y'all got to see me, and we'll chat with you later. Mm -hmm.